and Rob Brooker here. Today we're going to take a look at how to get your credit report for free. Uh, this issue came up recently uh, on my blog, DoRoller.net. Uh, a reader, a woman very frustrated, left a comment that she tried to get her credit report uh, for free uh, at uh, annualcreditreport.com, which is the place to go. And uh, she was charged for it, or they attempted to charge her for it. And uh, so she never uh, completed the transaction, never got a credit report. Uh, having received, uh, obtained my credit report from uh, that site on, on numerous occasions, I know that it is free. But I also suspect I understand uh, why she uh, thought they were trying to charge her. And it can be frustrating uh, to get your credit report. So today we're going to walk through that process. We're going to take a look at a couple of things. Uh, first, where to go to, to get your free report. Sometimes uh, with good advertising, there are some sites that try to get you to, uh, to come to, to their website uh, for what they claim is a free report when in fact it's not. Uh, we're going to look at exactly what it is you get for free and what you don't get for free. Um, I'm going to then pull my credit report uh, for you, show you uh, the steps that you have to take to uh, get your report. And through the process, we'll look at uh, some pitfalls that you need to avoid. So let's get started. So here we are at annualcreditreport.com, the place to go to get your free credit report. Uh, this website is actually the result of an amendment to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Uh, that act was originally passed in 1970, but at that time it didn't uh, give consumers the right to get the report every every year for free. That changed in 2003 with an amendment uh, to, the, uh, to the Act, and as a result this site was created. Now one thing to keep in mind is that this is not a government-run uh, website. You'll notice it's a .com, not a .gov. It was uh, created pursuant to the statute, but it was created by the three major uh, credit reporting agencies, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. And to get your credit report, uh, the first step is, of course, to come to annualcreditreport.com and select your state. In my case, I live in Virginia. And you request your report. And that starts the process. Well, it should start the process. There we go. And the first step is um, to fill out some information uh, about yourself, obviously your name, your date of birth, and your social security number which are, um, and, and your address, which are sort of the, the key components for how they'll um, um, assure that, that you are who you say you are and that they pull the correct uh, credit report. So I'm going to actually fill this out, and uh, but uh, just to keep my confidential information secure, I'm going to pause the video uh, while, I, while I do that. Well, once you uh, fill out your information and click Submit, you are then brought to this page where you have an option of selecting which of the credit reports you want. Keep in mind that each of the uh, three major credit bureaus have a, a credit report, assuming that you've established credit. Uh, and what, what I typically do is ob obtain a report from each of the major uh, credit bureaus uh, once every four to six months rather than obtaining them all at the same time. Um, for, for this, I'm going to uh, obtain the, my report from Experian. I don't believe I've requested that in the, less, in the last 12 months. We'll see. and directly to, in this case, the Experian site. If I, of course, had selected a different, different uh, uh, credit agency, it would have taken me to, the, to either TransUnion or Equifax. I selected Experian, and so it's going to take me away from annualcreditreport.com and to the Experian site, and, and as we'll see in just a moment, I suspect this is why uh, the reader of, of my blog uh, thought that she was going to be charged for the credit report, and we'll take a look at that as we, as we move through this. Now, uh, I'm now, as you can see, at the Experian website. And uh, to enter my last four digits of my Social Security number, I'll pause the video. So as you can see, after submitting my last, the last four digits of my Social Security number, uh, I've come to the order page, and it makes it uh, clear that, that it's free. Uh, there's no charge. Uh, but I do have to go through the verification process. And uh, what is pretty typical is a series of questions, as you can see here, uh, that I should know about my credit file. And so I'm going to answer these. And to do that, I'll again pause the video. And uh, I answer those questions correctly. And it's, it's brought me to a page where I can uh, review my credit report. And you can see I can look at a report summary. 
I can look at potentially negative items, uh, the accounts that are in good standing, uh, requests for credit history, personal information, and a personal statement. Um, and that's all available here online. And I can also print the report uh, and download it as a PDF. So I've, in just a matter of a couple of minutes, obtained a free copy of my, uh, my Experian credit report. Now you'll see over here to the left, there's a lot of ads. They are advertising credit monitoring services that they provide. And I suspect that perhaps this is where uh, my, the reader got confused and thought that she might be charged uh, for her report. And it's an important distinction. You'll notice here that they're, what they're offering is either credit monitoring services, like you'll see here, or uh, access to your credit report. I mean, excuse me, your credit score. And, and that's an important point that I think a lot of people miss, and that is that while you do get a free copy of your credit report every year from each of the three major credit agencies, credit reporting agencies, they don't give you free access to your credit score, and they don't give you free credit uh, monitoring service. If you want those through those agencies, you have to pay for it. Now, particularly for credit monitoring, I don't recommend that you do that. And the reason is, is simple. There are some really good websites that offer credit monitoring for free and they also offer while not your FICO score a very close approximation of your FICO score again for free and uh, perhaps one of the services that I use regularly and like uh, quite well is called Credit Karma you don't need a credit card to sign up the verification process is very similar to what you walk through to get your credit report and it will give you free access to a credit score that um, I found to be very close to your FICO score and the other nice thing is, is it doesn't just give you your, your credit information, but it actually walks through those things that are helping your credit score and those things that are hurting your score. But with that said, this was how you get your credit report. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and um, as you can see here, it's totally free.